All right, you know what this video is for. How to change one of these stinking things. I've had this in for about uh, at least 10 years. I put, we put it in, well, I had help putting this thing in because I didn't know anything about wiring these things. Um, and it finally starting to leak down through where the power, power cord goes in there for whatever reason, I have no clue. I thought it would be leaking around here, but it's not. So apparently somewhere in the, the containing thing itself, the grinding, wherever, probably rusted or broke or whatever it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace it. So I got the, the name, number, and everything like that. And I got, I got myself a new one, and it's, it's about, it's one third horsepower, uh, and everything like that. So I didn't want to, and this one was, we got it at Lowe's for $89. And if you have a, a, uh, whatever, garbage disposal like this, not the Flintstones kind, but this kind, and you, you, any kind of garbage disposal, it's really, they, they really help a lot. It keeps food out of the garbage and stuff like that, and you gotta smell that crap. So we're gonna take this off, and they're, they're really easy to uninstall. They're simple. First, you take, you disconnect any water lines or anything or like this. You First, you turn the power off. So I got the, the, the breaker up there tripped, so it's not really a, has any power going to it. Put a bucket under there, drain any water out of here. Any excess water is going to come out of the darn thing. Then this thing is a flange. You twist it like that and it pops right out. Just like that. If I didn't grab that thing, it would have fell and probably broke something. So uh, now all I have to do is disconnect this power. It was leaking right through here and leaking down out of that. So that's not a good thing. So I'm going to disconnect the power there, unscrew these little bolts that hold this to keep it in place from pulling out. And I'll probably have to take this off and take some, uh, they're probably right behind here are the, the lines hooking up. So let's get, to, let's get to working on that and see what we got. So, what you, so you, you see it takes a plus instead of a minus. And what you do, go get all your, go get all your screwdrivers because you're going to need at least one of them. So it's better be safe than sorry and, and get one that fits because see so you never get the right one and you have to go down to the next one and see what you get there. So let's take this panel off. This will probably get to the wires where they're connected down inside and get a look-see at it. And this is, wow. Wow, this I've never seen this before. Look at that. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty scary in there. I don't know what's going on. So this is a learning experience for me. Let's just take these screws out and I'll show you what I got with the wires. I'm going to push it all the way through. And, and... All right, now that I got it like that, I took the ground. The ground is right here. You always got to have a ground on something, always. And the black and the white basically comes down through here. So I'm going to take this stuff off of here. All right, got some pliers. Let's uh, unbend this and it's pretty easy how to, you know, once you, it's like brakes for cars. If you know how to change pads on a car, the back brakes are a little bit worse or harder. But if you, if you take it apart and put it back together the same way, you won't have any problems. But brake pads are so easy, I can't believe that they charge so much for just to change brake pads. I think it's a, it's a total ripoff and it, it should never, it's just ridiculous is what it is. They charge for it. So pull it back up through here, and that's what I got. That's my power. And I can take this whole doohickey the heck out of here and throw it away, but I'll probably uh, check it out to see what's inside, see what's broke on the inside of this thing. So let's get our uh, opening up the new one. Hopefully it's the same thing. But lucky. Register now. Okay. I don't need plumber's putty because I think it'll hook it right up to this flange that's already up in there, this sticky do. This hickey do. So I don't need a new one of these because that's the same exact thing up in there. I do think so. I don't need this. So let's pull all this crap out of here. What's this stuff? I don't need this. Uh, same thing here. I get the service panel thing, the screw, hickey do. Unscrew it. It's basically the same thing. A lot of times, when you get stuff stuck in your um, in the up inside here, and it, it's like you turn it on, it's just moaning and it ain't turning. There's a there's an Allen wrench hole right here. You could 
usually put an allen wrench up in there and turn it back and forth and break whatever's loose. If you get a, like if you're cleaning aquarium rocks out, you're not gonna, it's gonna jam it up. Don't don't mess with it. Don't try to flush that thing down or don't try to grind it up with that. That ain't gonna work. You might just take that flange off, tip it upside down, and then put it right back up there and tighten it up. But this is a reset button too. Sometimes if you, if you run it too long, with hot water, it'll overheat, it'll automatically shut off. And you'll have to call a repairman to come out and say, hey, what's wrong with you? Don't probably come underneath there and boom, push that button in. It, it, it prevents it from overheating. So other than just, just do it yourself. I mean, my gosh, just twist that thing off. Like I said, to have to take it out, dump it out, whatever's up in there, twist that thing with an Allen wrench, and it'll usually take the block right out of that. So now, so you got the, the, the the hot and the cold and uh, the ground, all you do is run these wires back to it and hook them up. Feed them back a weight, first of all. We need a, our, uh, we need to take this thing off and install it on this one. So I'm going to get a pair of pliers and crank this thing off here because it's probably two pieces. No, it just twists right in. So I'll have to twist it off. So I have to get a pair of channel locks. Like they said, get a pair of channel locks. But I did. So, there I have to get my ass up again. I got my channel lock, so all I'm going to do is give it a few twists. Get out of here. Give it a few twists. It pulls right out. And you just screw it right into that. But before you do that, I want to feed it on this. Because that, that gives kind of a pain in the neck to uh, put the wires through there after, after you put it on. On there. It's really easy though. It's, it's, this, this ain't nothing. This ain't. This is all minor. Don't buy. Don't, don't buy a house unless you know how to work on stuff. Now, I'm telling you. I didn't know. I, I don't know how to work on this stuff. But I tighten that sucker up pretty damn good because you don't want that wiggling loose. All right. Now tighten it. Or get it to work. How much? You got down in, you want to put down in there. Tighten these screws up really good so it holds that wire from vibration and rubbing loose. That's all you do. All right, folksy folks. You have electrical tape, you have the wire nuts, that little hard plastic thing that you twist on there. I, I don't like those because they, they tend to, to vibrate loose or fall off. You never get them on tight enough. Some people will put those on so we'll, we'll tape them on also. And you also have this too. It's called liquid tape and it's waterproof. And uh, that's what I'm going to use on these wires. I'm going to put some tape and put this stuff on there. And then I'm going to put tape on it also to hold it. It takes about five minutes to dry and it's very strong stuff. It smells really strong. So be careful with this crap. Don't get it. Don't get it down your ass crack or anything like that. They don't burn. It's just, it's an irritant, so it'll irritate. You. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hook the wires up and bada bing, bada boom. You go with the black, with the black, and the red with or the white with the white, red, the white with the white, and uh, you'll be all right. I'm not an electrician. I'm not certified in anything, except for making goofy videos. Certified in something else, I don't know. Um, but this stuff is a, oh, it smells awesome. Just kept coated on it really well. And it makes a really watertight seal. So we'll wait a few minutes, let that dry, and then we'll, uh, we'll tape it up. Cut yourself off a nice piece. And just wrap it up around. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Anyways, let's tuck them back in here. Back in the hole. Alright, get one of the 12 screwdrivers that you have to bring out. Alright, there you go. All you have to do is hook it back up. Let me bring it down here and I'll show you how to hook it back up. All right, now you just flip it over and you want to put it, hook it, make sure it's drained, and then make sure this is on this side. 
these things will grab onto that and it's like a it's like a ramp it goes up and it pulls it tight and make sure you got them all connected on there all three because there's one in the back too make sure you get that one on there okay it's on there all right now just twist it and that pulls it up tight and line that a little bit and then if you need so I have to un un do it from back here and oh that's ah no, that's gross go out and get a longer piece and uh, come back in and hook it up just need a longer piece that's all I need so what I did I went out in my arsenal of uh, you know, crap that I usually keep laying around I got an extension and I I took this part, original part that was on there, and I just needed an inch off of that darn thing. So what I'm gonna have to do is slide this over, and you can see it, it's right about here, but when I push it on, it's all the way up to there. I'm gonna cut it right about here, so when I hook it back up, it'll fit right in there. And that's tight, that's watertight. I don't need any other fittings to tighten that on or anything. This, however, I need to tighten onto here to make this part waterproof. And I'll, I'll put this back together but I'll cut that off and I'll fit it right back in there and we'll give it a shot. I got it cut. Not the perfect cut, but hey, what do you expect, man? Let's put this uh, o ring back in here. I need an o ring. I need an o ring. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off of that. I could just use a knife and just peel it like an apple. Okay. See? Like that. Did you ever drop a pencil and didn't know where the heck it went? It always rolls farther than you look, than you know. Then you, you're looking like and within, you know, three foot radius. You know, I dropped a pencil once at work. I was like, I look, you know, up to ten feet away because I thought that's ridiculous, but I couldn't find it. I drove home, I am backed up into my drive. There it was, right outside, right in my driveway. I just don't want the O-ring to get crinkled in there or something like that when I'm sliding it in a place. It should give me a good amount of play in here. It doesn't. Look at that. It's not even there. I want it seated perfectly. See? Right like that. And I just tighten it up. All right, all you have to do is turn it on and see if it works. And let's give that a shot. Hold on. Right. Ready? It works. So uh, there you go. So there you go, it works fine. And um, I'm gonna run some water in there. Let's see if it leaks. Let's see if it leaks around here. I'll run that in there a little bit. And I'll turn it on and see what we get. There you go. No leaks anywhere. Huh. There you go. That's how you change the tire. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, trampoline! Trampoline! Oh yeah, Patty! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god!